Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by AOL Music and Spinner.com, where you can get free MP3s, exclusive interviews, and more. Video bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for the Daily Gizwiz with Mads Maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1098 for Wednesday, May 26th, 2010, the Everlife Cinema. And now, get ready for Dick. It's the middle of the week. Time for the Wednesday No Theme it's Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes. I don't have a Wednesday song, really. Day. I could sing the Monday song over again. No! It's Wednesday. Theme Tree Wednesday, the show you cannot hum. There's no way. The day day when there's no theme. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the themes to himself, Mr. Dickie D. Leo, sir, how are you, pal? I'm well, I'm well, I'm well. How's Mad... Now, Mad Magazine is back, it's, baby. It's back... It's halfway back. Back-ish. It back, it's back-ish. Yeah, it's back-ish. So uh, it went, we to, went, we went from, quarterly. It was what, monthly originally. It was re- originally... Yeah, well, when Gaines owned it, it was just eight times a year. Oh, I didn't uh, know that. Really? Yeah, it was eight times a year and, and not divided up into like every six and a half weeks. Bill used to keep elaborate graphs, and he knew that kids bought more of them in the summer, and he made sure there was no issue uh, the two weeks when they would go back to school because they were didn't buy magazines then. They were too busy buying books and getting all. You know, he had a whole, sci- he had a whole scientific way of uh, judging how meds are huh. Yeah, it was very... Huh. But then when, when he passed on and Time wanted to go over, it became a monthly... Then last year it became a quarterly, which is more like a coffee table book. But now we're we're back to bi monthly starting with the next issue. So that's good. That's really good. And I think it's probably yeah. good for you. I they'll buy more of your work, right? Yeah, yeah. I know we went from <laughs> twelve paychecks a year to four. Yeah. That, that that's a big not, drop. Yeah. So, so now we're at uh, least back uh, to six. Uh, have, have you always <laughs> been uh, 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 Oh, have you always been a staffer or a contract employee? I, I was I was a permanent freelancer, but they ended that uh, <laughs> just about a year ago. When I went to quarterly, they said, we don't need no stinking people in the office. So they pretty much fired everybody. It's down wow. to actually five full-time people. Wow. Um, so so now what's I'm a just, permanent freelancer? I don't understand. That's more. A permanent freelancer was that you go in all the time, but you have zero benefits. <laughs> oh, that's novel. I think I should try that with my staff. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's the way Gaines set it up. And, and uh, he was, I mean, he was ahead what? of the time. When you're, when, when you're a kid, you know, he said, listen, this is the way it works here. Uh, you get no benefits. He said, I pay very well. I pay about three times what a comic book pays for material, but there is nothing. Do you understand when I say nothing? Nothing. <laughs> you, we give you no nothing. benefits. There's no Zero. Medical. There's no retirement. You know, my, my, uh, uh, departure package was a Mars bar. Speaking <laughs> <of>. <laughs> no, but no, it's, but okay. That sounds, I mean, on the face of it to be kind of cheap. Yeah, well, that's the way it was. I mean, the thing is, when Time Warner took over, they said, if you want to work five days a week, you know, 10 to 6, whatever the hours are, you can get benefits. And I said, no, I, you know, I like to do stuff around. I said, I, I just like coming in, you know, a couple days a week. It's what I used to do. Um, and that was fine. You know, and I, and I took that. I knew there'd be no benefits and no hospitals, and zero. But you, but you pay for your own. And you, and you, you know, you buy your own insurance or whatever. And I presume yeah, you would put money that's, away and all that. And I guess if yeah. they pay you well enough, that's just one philosophy. We'll give you extra money so you do it. Yes, exactly. So then that was a hit last year when they decided that they didn't want me. Period. Yeah. Except to buy to buy stuff. And then, well, which would you rather have? I mean, I give you know, people. We have about ten employees now. Maybe eleven. Right. I just hired some. I hired two new people. So maybe we have. I don't. But even, you have that alternate side of the week, a paycheck. Exactly. So uh, odd on odd. Eight a k right. that gets paid one week. Right. That way, it cuts the costs in half. 
It does. You yeah. see, it's very clever. It's yeah. very, and they don't miss it. Well, they might miss it, but I don't care. They might miss. It. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I'm a good. I'm a good daddy. I give them health benefits. I give them oh, dental. Uh, I give them uh, a four hundred one k. I even. Oh my I even have a pension plan. I they even get a funded, fully funded pension plan. Oh no, you have you have so, very well. But wait, well, well, let me ask you: Which would you prefer to get paid? But I pay them nothing. I pay him a buck ninety eight. Which would you prefer? <laughs> no, actually, well, you see, I think I pay. The plan well. is totally different. It, it, with your plan, when you finally get canned and you're old, you have money coming in. Right. With the gains plan, you make money now. When, when you get old and you want stuff, nothing's coming in. Well, which would so you, now? Not, in hindsight, I, you probably prefer the latter because you're old. Yeah. No, I. I <laughs> but I, as a kid, I, you probably I, like the idea of getting more money up front. Absolutely. Uh, but you know what? I, I did put some money away for, for these days. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and the other thing was at the same time that they went to four issues, they, they cut the writer's rates uh, and everybody's rates by 40 percent. So it was like it was like getting trounced all at one time. Oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah, hey, yeah. yeah, no, it's no problem. Big companies. <laughs> but that's the funny thing is because Bill Gaines wasn't a big company, but he had his, no. he was quirky. He was a, 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 an individual. He, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, I've been very lucky working for a series of men who were in charge of their company. Like like Mad Magazine, if, if a corporation owned, uh, I, I mean uh, Goodson, if a corporation owned the match game, right. and I came in one day and said, hey, you know, we're doing these uh, straight questions and we're getting canceled and I want to do silly questions. At a corporation... The show would be off the air for four years. While they decided. Yeah. While they decided. Yeah. So with Goodson, you went in and he goes, what's that? What, what, what's a stupid question? You say one and he goes, yeah, what are they going to cancel? Do that. Do that. I don't right. Care. And the same with Gaines with the mad minutes. Hey, I got this idea. Do these silly minutes. Can you can you do it for less than $1,000 uh, every couple of months? Yeah, I can. Go do it. And and the same with you. You know, I... You would say, uh, let, let's do a, a daily show. What's it going to be like? I don't know. We'll get in front of a microphone and we'll do it. Well, and it we is kind of like that. And you yeah. know you know what happened? Um, uh, as a good example, Eric Lanigan, who came to us uh, out of college, he was at Florida State and uh, graduated last year, uh, was very impressed. We really was, were impressed by his, uh, the stuff he'd done in college. And uh, Dane put him through hell with uh, questionnaires and interviews and stuff. But he, finally, but he went through the gauntlet and we hired Eric as an editor uh, about a year and a half ago and he's been great and he's you know and he's and but a couple of days ago maybe oh, two weeks ago he came to me and said i'd like to do a show where I, we just take calls and people talk and because there isn't some big corporate you know overlord i just said yes. what the hell we got the cameras we got the lights nothing's going on it's we got reruns why go ahead when the i said when the show when the days shows are over you come in here you could do a show don't go crazy you know, but uh, you could do a show. And he's done like uh, eight of them. And damn his eyes, he's better than I am. I don't like it. So uh, he's just lost his job. He's out of work. Never in my eyes, Leo. Never in my <laughs> eyes. He's gone. So you see the advantage of, I yes. don't have to go to a committee. I could just say, I don't like it because I'm threatened. I mean, Dane and he's is getting out of control. Well, Dane. Dane, <laughs> you know now, why? You know, I have to fill out a, a thing every week about... What is the direction of the Daily Gizwiz in your eyes? <laughs> no, really? Really? Is that true? <laughs> no, no. No. I wouldn't be surprised. No, Dane's got pictures of me, and uh, and frankly, he's not afraid to use them. So, oh, I, okay. Well, then I, I'm I, stuck. I We're stuck with him. <laughs> no, actually, I love Eric. We were very. I was. I saw the show for the first time today, and I was like, "Wow, this kid." Uh, should not be this. He's tw like 22 years old. No experience. He shouldn't be this good. He's really good, so we're gonna he's, we're gonna use more of him. But I see exactly what you're saying, which is I can do that. I just yes because yes, I don't have to don't. ask anybody. I just do it. If it sounds good, you say yeah, let's do it. You try it for a week. If you don't like it, it right. it's, uh, it's just no yeah. committee, no oversight, well, no investors. Exactly. You don't even need one of those clocks that that keeps track of how many hours people are talking and what their salaries Ugh. are. You just the, you know. Hey, Bill, I want to go to, the, one of my favorite things is I go to Bill and I said, you know, we're not at the at the San Diego uh, Comic Convention, and I think I should go out there and, and do this and do that and do that. And Bill says, let me tell, and, and Time Warner owned Mad for a long time when Bill was still doing it. And he goes, let me tell you corporate policy. 
you have to be a grade level X in order to be eligible to fly. Uh. You have to be a this and and he he this, this litany of stuff. So uh. I get up and I go okay, and I I start walking. He goes, where are you going? I said, I'm going back to my office. He said, why? I said, Bill, you just told me what company policy is. Nothing I want to do fits in. He said, <laughs> no, I told you what company policy now is. Now, let me tell you what my policy is. <laughs> now, go do what you want and send me the bill because we don't follow company yeah, policy. Yeah, love yeah. it. Yeah, yeah stick it to great. the man. Yeah. <laughs> I remember I used to get, because on tech TV, they would have me showing stuff, you know. And so my hands, I was like a hand model. I would do a lot of this yeah, and there'd be a lot right. of close-ups. And my hands, you know, I'm a guy. I don't, I, you know, I, my fingernails are, are what they are. And so I started getting a manicure. And in the business office, somebody got, and I would charge him back to Tech TV. Somebody got the bill for the manicure and said, Leo, you're paying $20 for a manicure. You could get a good manicure for $5. I said, well, that's what she costs. It's what I, what you want me to, for 15 bucks every other week, you want me to go to some crazy person in the, you know, what she, they said, yeah. In fact, so finally I said, well, screw it. I'm going to have, I'm going to have ugly fingernails because I'm not going to go for a $5 manicure. It's crazy. Yeah. Co corporations are nuts. Yes, way. they are. But you know what? They save money at ABC. Uh, I did a thing on Michael Gelman said, let's do a show on every conceivable way to open bottles or cans. So I said, okay, Michael, you know, all the cheap stuff I'll just buy, but the hundred and two hundred dollar things, I'll get them from corporations to borrow. So I hand in my expense account and it comes back and it goes, every receipt has to be glued on an eight and a half by 11 inch white piece of paper. No little pieces of paper so i did that and then they said uh where's the bottle open oh please I said, the two dollar bottle opener the stagehands have it uh well that was not yours to give away that so it ended up i just didn't put an expense account because i so in a way they win because yeah you bought everything yeah maybe that's yeah. the plan yeah. We, I guess. We oh, do. I hope Dane's not listening to this. Oh my God! I hope we we do expect it. We have uh, we have do expense account. I mean, you have to ask people to if they want to get paid for something. You need the receipts and stuff. I mean, I'm not crazy. Yeah, no, no, no. But they don't have to be glued on pieces of paper no. in a certain. Although Dane insists on dusty rose. <laughs> he says that every everything every, must be on dusty rose. He dusty does have a rose. thing I for said, that. Dane, yeah. where do you get that? And he said, I don't know of any place that sells it. <laughs> so, yeah, so you, you owe me thousands. Smart thousands. man. <laughs> Smart man. Very, very sharp. Do you have a gadget, my friend? I do. I have something from uh, Ava Media, A V E R. You know those. Folks, oh, yeah. Right? They do great stuff. I like them. Yeah. Okay. So, Ava Media, you know, everybody now, we go through cycles where someone comes out with a gadget and then everybody has their version of it. And one of the things that we're seeing everywhere now are ways to get computer media onto your TV set, right. you know, wireless streaming. And so Ava Media has come up with what I think is kind of an interesting little niche to be in. They call it the Ava Life Cinema. And it's sort of a manual way to watch all your media on the big screen. Hmm. So it's not wireless, uh, it, it's a set top box. It puts out a uh, component video, puts out uh, HDMI. Uh, it's it's only 720p. Well, that's fine. Uh, that's pretty good quality. Yes, that's a USB flash drive in the front takes SD cards. But what's kind of different about it, Leo, is that the list price is seventy dollars. Remote control, wow. and it's it just came out two weeks ago, and it's already down around sixty bucks. So if you don't want wireless streaming. And you want, to, you want to go to someone's house and just hook this up to their TV set. It's an easy way to carry movies. It does slideshows. Is this kind of like, it doesn't record, it just plays back. It doesn't record, it's, it's just playback. It's sort of like a, a, a unit that's on the market now that they all range about 100 bucks, 120 because they do wireless streaming. So this just... You physically take your USB drive, your USD, uh, your your SD card, 
your uh what what's the sony thing um oh magic stick oh uh, yeah yeah silly. is it magic isn't it yeah <laughs> silly whatever it is yeah i know how did that i think they're still doing that now now they think they have magic Forget stick it. everything it. everything now is sd card that's the future yeah, I, that's it we it, finally it, found one let's just do one Exactly. I mean, you can do within that the variations where you have the little micro and the yeah, mini. You put an adapter, right, but, it, but, but that's it, fine. it still goes into the adapter. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Avalife Cinema. So you get the uh, you get the HDMI car uh, cable. You get the set top box component cable. You supply your uh, component cable comes with it. Remote control comes with it. Batteries come with it. So it's just a way to play media on the big set. Um, as I said, manually, no, no wireless streaming. And if it's down to $63 now, having been out for less than a month, my guess is it will be under $60 very soon. That's, that's really great. Uh, Aver, yeah, Aver, yeah, Aver, we, we, we've used Everkey solutions for video for a long time. So it's a, you know, they're inexpensive. I think they're probably Taiwanese. Um, probably. Yeah. Yeah. And I never realized Ava media. I, I never even got the connection that a it's AV. AV. Yeah. yeah, it's capital A V E R, and then small E R. Yeah, yeah. I so like there's it. our little gizmo, the cinema, uh, Avalife Cinema is what the device is. Here come the letters, those lovely letters. Here come the gizmo's letters now. And now, ladies and gentlemen, da, 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 da. here it is. A letter to the gizmo. A letter from Silvio from Escondida, California. Uh, Dick and Leo, I love your show. Been listening from the beginning. In fact, I used to listen to Leo in the mid in the mid nineties when he de did a radio show with John D. John C. Dvorak. Yes. Oh, was that the Dvorak? Oh yes. my! Dvorak. You two guys did a radio show. Oh God, that's how we started. Yeah. It was called was Dvorak on kind computers. Of low key and grouchy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Absolutely. Okay. Um, I heard Leo discussing roasting coffee, and I had to reply. My parents and I immigrated from Italy in 1962. Ah. It was difficult to find good espresso coffee in Southern California at the time, so my mother would buy green beans and roast them in the backyard with a roaster she brought from Italy. It's sort of like a frying pan with a lid and a handle for roasting the coffee in a circular motion while it was being roasted. The aroma was magnificent. The coffee very tasty. <laughs> but our neighbors thought we were nuts. And I felt like we were the Italian version of the Adams family. <laughs> you know, in those days, probably nobody had any idea what espresso was or any of that. I doubt it. You yeah. know, uh... Uh, Silvio Escondido, I did say that. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, my brother should take these people on it. If he wants to go all the way to Sicily to find strangers, he should have just went to Escondido, we California. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and she comes with her own coffee roaster. <laughs> well, that's, 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 uh, that's, uh, I, I'm, I, I love, to me, coffee is yes. Italy. Italy is coffee. Some people will say, oh, no, French espresso. Uh, uh, or Brazilian. I haven't been to Brazil, but uh, but to me, the the coffee in Italy. That's what I love. That's what I love. Oh, the pasta ain't bad either. The pasta's good. <laughs> I hope to retire to Italy someday before I'm dead, because retiring after you're dead is kind of boring. Yeah, but it's easier. Well, it's less it's expense. Costs are way lot less. Expensive. Yeah, and you don't have to brush your teeth. Yeah, no, no. All right, Dick. Hey, we're out of time tomorrow. We're out of time. That's such a lie. Dick, we could go on for hours, but I'm done. <laughs> I'll be here. D A I L Y. It's the Daily Kiss Wiz. It's the Daily Kiss Wiz. It's the Daily Kiss Wiz. It makes its own gravy. Yeah.